Here we are in high treason. The um, trial itself is over. Uh, well, the main part of the trial is over. Now we're at the summation, and then we'll be having a... Uh, uh, what did I just do? Shit. I think we were playing with Catholics there, and I bumped them, but I'm not sure. All right. Um, it may not matter. Uh, in fact, it will not. Uh, now we're at the summation. I checked the defense. They have uh, a couple of prosecution attorneys in their hand, but those aren't going to help in terms of interrupts. Uh, and neither side has the right attorney at this stage in the game, which might be a mistake. So the prosecution gets to... Uh, play three cards. And again, this matches how, how the, the standard of a trial, right? The prosecution uh, makes their closing arguments, the defense makes their closing arguments, and then the prosecution gets a final rebuttal against those, which uh, is a powerful process. So we're going to get three cards to play here. And what we want to play is of interest. So we use a summation event, or we can play two markers on unlocked jurors. That's it. Except for the interrupts. Now, I don't have any that I want to fiddle with here, but I did play a couple of these guilt cards. I'd like to hold them for later. Those are going to be important if the defense can remove the guilt. I think the prosecution got all the guilt cards. Uh, I'm not positive of that. Okay. That means these can impact anything. It doesn't matter uh, that it's been discussed. You can hammer the point home, I would assume. Uh, so, let's see what we've got. We've got English and Protestant. We've got three aspects except French. I'd like to hold that. We got two to the government or a minus one insanity. Insanity is troubling. I don't want to play it right away though. So for the most part, I'm going to hold these. They might end up being two sway points later on. Now I've got, eh. Well, so here's the thing. Two sway points is a big deal. I can lock a juror. So let's look at what we're least interested in. English and Protestant, we're kind of weak on those. English and Protestant, we're kind of weak on those. We're going to be able to pump those up a lot in both cases with anti-religious stuff. Any three aspects, that's kind of powerful, but this is four points towards two. Uh, we should get a lot from that. Um, so I'm going to burn this one for two actions. Has nothing to do with this card. And lock this guy. Because he's worth three deliberation points. I don't want him there. So that's one out of the way. Uh, I want to hold off on this. I think it's not that big a deal. But you see... This would be one on all aspects. That's a big thing. He might just pump it all the way to four and not be able to play all his cards. So I think for the same reason that I'm holding these, I'll hold that. And then these two are each two English, two Protestant. One, two, three, four. And that swings things quite heavily. And then over here, I gotta play them all. All right. I've got insanity. That's good. Four sways on any unlocked jurors. Ooh. Or blow a, uh, 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 a locked juror. That's very interesting. 
Remove all sway from any one. So this is the same thing, but it's only two sways. So I'm more towards the, hey, four sways, let's lock someone in. Uh, whereas this one gives me the same advantage that this does, but I'm giving up less. And this is because it's a prosecution attorney. Well, they're both prosecution attorneys. So these are two powerful cards. Let's look at this. Two to each of three government aspects, except... I don't like this. <laughs> I don't know why I, bur I buried this four action card. Maybe this was in the uh, early part. I don't think so. Okay. Two each to any three aspects, except for one to the government and merchants in the wrong direction. Mm. I mean, that's a value. No special effect, two sways on any unlocked jurors, so that's going to go with these. All right, I don't have much choice with this one. Except I could sway. I could sway. Hmm. All right. I am going to remove all sway markers from this guy. I did not see that. Oh, no, that didn't hurt. And then I place one in my favor on him. That's kind of cool. Okay, that gets rid of my prosecution attorney. I got four more here. Um, with all his deliberation action points, I could do a lot of power with him. This gives me, no matter what, just two sways. So I'll lock this in. And where do I want my other one? Well, uh, I don't know much about religion anywhere. I don't know these. It would be helpful to know these, but I chose not to, right? Uh, I've got a lot of power already on those. Ah, uh, yeah, I don't know much of anything. Got a lot of power on the Brits. I, I, I don't know. Catholic. I'll put this here. It's the only place I'm allowed to put it with this card. Now, both religion or I could start locking in yet another juror, which would be very, very powerful. I'm going to increase insanity, because that gives me bonuses on all the aspect votes. And now the question here is whether I want to reduce the two religions. Mm. So, I'm going to do this one. Two for farm. Uh, two for English. I'm allowed to do that. And I don't know the religions. Um, two for farm, two for English. I know there's a French, I know there's a Protestant. Got the Protestant locked down. I would have more effect with those things. So I'm gonna actually take two for French language as well. These have to be different three aspects, but in the cost, I pay government and merchant for that. And finally, I have this defense testimony, which allows me to either Bump both the religion down one, which could be valuable, or move someone more towards being locked in. Now, I have a good chance of locking him in. So I'm going to do this instead. Call me crazy or not. 
All right, over here, guilt was not moved. Uh, it's obvious he did it. <laughs> uh, but insanity needs to be reduced. No question there. Now these others are guilt and moving an aspect. This one adds guilt and adds a total of uh, two sway on unblocked markers. If that, that would be pretty potent, to tell you the truth. Um, I have four sway. I could move this into my hands or this. He's going to have six points. One, two, three, four, five. This is problematic. So, yeah, I got, I got screwed by putting so many cards into the guilt that... Is there one I, I, I want to protect and not lose? I think I've lost as the prosecution already. Um... And they have the harder, harder job. So they have the more powerful cards, but supposedly the harder job at the game. And I'm definitely feeling that. I can't play with any of this. Those are locked. Because I don't have the right cards to screw with them. I could grab someone. Let's see what the next set is. Starting with prosecution, I can spend deliberation actions. Which means I could, like, I would have one deliberation action. I could pick off one of these. But that doesn't help because he's going to have six. So I'm going to grab these three away and then I get one more I can put into play. Which I want probably on something that's leaning my way anyway. These just don't look good. <laughs> I'll put it there. All right. And that gets rid of these. Evidence of guilt. Oh, I forgot I had that. Oh, shit, 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 shit. Um, let me leave one of these here and put an extra one here because now I get two sways on each Unlock juror. That's powerful. And that locks me in with a juror. I don't know how well it's going to do, but we'll see. Okay. Uh, now I look at insanity. All aspects go down by one. not guilty to do insanity. That's not that horrible, is it? Okay, prosecution gets to spend a delib their deliberation action. I have only one. I can't lock anyone. But I can make it... Let's see. He's going to have six. That would allow him to do any that I want. Is there anything that I'd like to hold in my favor, where I'd get a good multiplier. French, not very happy. Farmers, definitely unhappy. Farmers, unhappy. So I am going to play the one deliberation I get off this here. Now you would be doing these alternating, but that's the only one I get. So now, and, and that's locked out anyway. All right, so now the defense gets six of them in a row because these all got used and this all got fired off. Uh, six of them in a row. Okay. Well, how do these work again? Ha 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 ha. Oh, fuck. I screwed up. Uh, where, did I, where did I put one? I don't remember where I put one. 
because this is not how I, I, I did it wrong. Okay, jury deliberation. Consideration. Now, jury deliberation. Locked jurors receive deliberation shown at the bottom as used below. Um, are these not shown yet? See, it, it's going to be aspects. So, at some point or another, we have to show the aspects. Reveal all trait markers, yeah. So what did I just remove, what did I just add? I said I wanted to boost the French. I'm gonna hold on that because I, I don't have that option. I can only boost those two. Okay, so we reveal all markers. Yeah, I knew so, so I had screwed something up there. Farmer, farmer, Brits, yay. Yeah, I'm not just able to fire one off. It's fire one off that's related. So, oop. okay. So he's Catholic. I could get two by firing this off. And I'm gonna do that. That will get me another juror locked and in my favor. Now he's gotta make a choice. He's got Protestant English farmer, that is this. I would get three, six deliberation points that I could spend. Two would lock this in. Let's see about this. This would take two more. So I, I, I don't have six points to spend. I have three deliberation points to lock in. One would get me two spaces on here. Two would get me this guy locked, or two would lock this guy in with one space on here. I basically have those two choices. I could use this guy. Uh, is he as good? Yeah. Wait, no, this guys are worth three each. Okay, so yeah, I fire this guy off because he matches all three there. Oh. But there's already one against. Shit, 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 shit. All right. And I only match one here. How's this guy going to match up when he's fired off? He's going to give two points there. I'm safe. So I fire this guy off. I've got three points. Okay. I spend one of them here. And I do not lock this in. It's one, two, three. I spend two of the points here, and that has a match only on Protestant, so these two go away. And I know, that, that was kind of confusing. <laughs> All right, so these two have fired. Now we're back to the prosecution. They have one left. They have... Catholic English farmer. His one point is worth two. I can remove two from here. And that's probably the best I can do. And that takes this guy off. Now I'm back here. Now he's got Catholic English farmer. English farmer means mine are worth two points each. So I'm going to lock him in for two of those three points. Unplayed. And I have one more point that I can allocate here, but I've got no matches, so that doesn't help. Now I go back to the prosecution. They're out of plays, so they don't get to do one. Now I go back to the defense. I've got one deliberation point here, and I've only got a single match, so I put it there. And that is that. <laughs> and this tilts, but okay. And yes, and maybe I made a mistake, I hope not. Okay, that means now we calculate the verdict. And for each juror, we're going to have to look at the value of their three aspects and then modify it. So let's take a look at this one. 
So we would have Catholic, that's one. English, that brings me to four. And Farmer, that brings me to five. His base is five. He's locked by the defense. So now he's down to two and a half. And minus one, two, three, four, five, six. So for this. Hmm. Yeah. Two and a half minus six is... Sounds like negative three and a half for the first jar. So the first juror votes negative three and a half points total. Second juror, this also isn't going to be good. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Halved is five because it's controlled by the defense. One, two, three, four, five, six, minus one for the second juror. He's very easily getting off. <laughs> You're not supposed to get negatives on these guys. Um, okay, this one. One, two, three, four, five. Locked by the prosecution, makes ten. Plus four is fourteen. This will probably get a positive number. Huh? Okay. Over here, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, halved is five, minus four is one. Over here, uh, six, seven, eight, thirteen, not modified, not multiplied, so thirteen, but minus one is twelve. And here, one, four, nine, doubled is 18, plus four is 22. And this did not go at all well. So uh, 14, 15, 27, 47, 49, minus four and a half. <laughs> Sounds like uh, 44 and a half. And we had to get a hundred. So the prosecution did shit poor. <laughs> I wasn't expecting that it would be that bad. I was pretty sure that the prosecution had lost just because these numbers are all, except for the Protestants, below the five. And also control of the sway was, uh, was definitely in favor of the defense. I don't know what I could have done differently. I don't know if I learned anything other than the mechanisms of play. Uh, and maybe I screwed them up, right? You know, I, again, I'm not sure or I'm not positive that events should be allowed to modify these. Let me look through the event cards, see if there are any that say, other than the ones that allow you to to clear it out, because there's ones that will allow you to reopen and clear it out. Other than those, I don't think that there are any that say that, that explicitly say anything about being able to play when this is full. And that, that's one of the big questions, because if, you might, if you're able to lock in a decent value against one of those, then it becomes much, much harder to move things. That certainly hurt was, did I forget to move this down? Hmm. Um, one thing that certainly hurt was having the prosecution focus so much on proving the guilt and ignoring some of the other aspects. Now, you know, some of that was, hey, I banked a couple of guilt cards early on 
And then whenever I got to play one, I did. And I shot this up and yes, that gave me a couple of sway markers on each of the unlocked people, but I had expended so much that while well, these tracks were not in the best of shape, but most importantly, I had lost a couple of big jurors, uh, of very convincing jurors, er early, you know, early enough in the situation that I couldn't turn that around. I also probably didn't see the danger I was in. Like one of them was locked, but the other one I maybe could have escaped being locked. And then the snowballing effect of the jurors was very, very painful. Having a couple of those very persuasive jurors lock in allowed you know, another lock there. That's about all I can come up with. Um, of course, there's the possibility, you know, that I fucked something up and that this should be here and that all of these should have been one further up or something. I don't know. Uh, I'm sure anybody who's played this is going to have fair criticism of, of what I did uh, if they've been watching. That's... Uh, that's a high bar, though. These are usually their own little fun. Anyhow, um, I definitely had fun playing around with it uh, and, and, and seeing these mechanisms in play. I'm left with kind of a, oh, geez, this was a lot harder for the prosecution than I expected it to be, even though the game warned me about that. I kind of lost my, my, my focus or something on from that player, especially, and this, some of this is playing solo, especially the fact that, you know, I lost track of just how much I had already in the bank in terms of those two early cards for guilt. And then I boosted guilt all the way up. Uh, I thought that would be pretty potent to tell you the truth, <laughs> uh, especially with the insanity not that far, but you know, the, the, different, uh, the different traits or, or aspects or whatever you want to say, uh, whatever you want to call it, both terms get used, um, were all so low that there was a general predisposition to let him off even though he's guilty and probably not all that insane appearing, you know? Uh, so that, that, that was kind of interesting. Um, definitely something I would like to play opposed. Uh, I, think, I, I think my wife would have enjoyed this, by the way. Uh, I think she would have gotten a kick out of it and probably wiped my, my, my face all over the floor with it. All right, I'm going to send this up and then come up with whatever the hell it is I do for reviews.